What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the 365 Geek, and today we are looking at Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we are looking at the action which is Get Rooms from a Room List V2. So what this does is this allows you to specify in a room list and then get the rooms that are inside of that room list. If you haven't watched my, on my, one of my previous videos on room, uh, on room lists and getting the room list list, um, you can watch it here. Um, but this is a action that allows you to specify what those room lists are. So a room list, very quickly, is a way to get um, a way to group rooms together. So say you have a business that maybe operates out of multiple premises, so multiple buildings. Each building may have a set of conference rooms or meeting rooms or breakout rooms. You can group these things together, and that way when you're in Outlook and you're trying to find a room uh, for a meeting, so you're trying to schedule an appointment, the Outlook um, scheduling calendar will try and help you. If you use room list, it's going to automatically find the best room list for you, or the best room for you from that room list. And it's going to help you get and make that appointment. Now, if you don't use room list, you'd have to go through each one of the rooms individually, find out if it's available, and then book it. So the room list actually helps group those things together and tries to make things useful. So let's look at this action today on showing the rooms in a room list. So I'm in Power Automate here. Excuse me, I'm in Power Automate here. I've got a manual trigger flow, and if I click on New Step and go to Office 365 Outlook, I can scroll down until we get to Get Rooms in Room List. Uh, get Rooms in Room List V2. This has a single parameter. So this has a list of the room lists. So I have two room lists in my, um, in my environment. So I've got my first room list, I've got my second room list. So if I choose the first one for now, that's all we need. Now I can, I can use a custom value here, so I could potentially get this from another piece of information. Maybe I'm using the get room lists um, action and I'm getting that. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to specify this as my first room list. And click on test. We'll save and test. We'll run the flow. Uh, my first room list has uh, the room flow room. It also has the room map room. So we get the name of the room and we also get the address that that's from. So we could potentially use that address for something else, maybe check the calendar or send an email or doing something with it. Uh, but we are very limited in the information that we are getting back about these rooms. The rooms do generally have information like um, the telephone number and the location, maybe the capacity as well. These things are usually filled in. I'm a bit confused as to why this isn't um, in why this isn't in this action, but maybe maybe these features will come in time, or maybe there's another action that I've not found yet that does those things. Um, let me know down below if there is one. So yeah, this action allows you to do things. So this has two rooms in it. If I just show you my second room list, just to show you, and we'll save and test. I'll run the flow. Run flow, click done. My second room list has a different room in it. It has a power apps room in it, but it has a single room. So a room list can contain one or more rooms in it. Um, it, it can also it can also contain no rooms. Um, so the way you create a room list is you actually have to do this through PowerShell. There is no there is no UI to create a room list. So you create rooms inside you can create rooms inside of exchange or your exchange admin center but to create a room list you actually have to run a powershell script and connect to all that so you can create the room list so i'll leave the instructions down below on how to create a room list i found a very quick and easy instruction guide on just a few lines of code that you can copy into your powershell and then you can create a room list so what do you guys think is get rooms in a room list something that you knew is it something that you're using let me know what you may use this for in the future or what you're using it for right now. I love to learn new things, so please do let me know. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.